bottom of the screen. So I've just added in a connections account, I've added in a same, couple of same time accounts. How about if we go and add in a personal account? Of course, one of the accounts that we've all got is Twitter. So how about we go and create a new account, which is Twitter, and I'm going to call this Twitter Matt. Notice how you can add as many different accounts as you like into Wildfire, even of different types. Now the difference between Twitter and the Lotus accounts is I actually have to authorize Wildfire to access my online Twitter account. And the way that we do that is by hitting the Get Pin button at the bottom of the screen. So if we hit OK, that's going to go and fire up the default web browser on my computer. And in this case it's Firefox. So here we go. It's taken me over to Twitter and it's telling me that an application wants to connect to my Twitter account. Now in this case it's my Twitter username and my Twitter password and I'm going to allow Wildfire to access my Twitter account. Now this time what's going to happen it's going to come up with an authorization code and this authorization code or PIN is the thing that I need to copy go back into my Lotus Notes Wildfire preferences and paste it into the PIN field. Once I've done that I can click the get access from PIN button that's going to go off do some magic on the internet and insert my authorization here into Lotus Notes. Again I'm going to enable feeds on my Twitter account so I can see what all of my friends on Twitter are up to. I'm also going to create a new group in here which I'll call Twitter Matt just to identify it because I might have multiple accounts. And I might also add another group, uh, let's call it personal. So now this new Twitter account, if I apply that, Twitter Matt, I got access from PIN and it's now located inside two groups. If I go ahead and click OK, because those two groups are exactly the same account with only one account type, they both show me the Twitter icon. Of course, there's a really good reason for me having a personal account and a separate Twitter account. That's because I want, might want to go and add Facebook in here as well. So let's go ahead. We'll add Facebook. So that's a new account type. Facebook. We're going to call this Facebook Matt going to post enable it again and again because Facebook has a slightly different authorization to Twitter what we need to do is click the get session button again that that'll give us a prompt and let us know that it's going to fire up a web browser take us out to Facebook and ask it to log into Facebook to authorize wildfire so here we go here's my username and there's my password and that'll log me into Facebook. Now the difference here is there's no pin code on the screen but there is a session ID located up the top of the screen in the address. So the easiest way to get hold of this is just highlight the whole address line, go back over to Wildfire and paste that address into our session ID. Now you don't have to worry which part of the address is the session ID, we've done all the work for you. Again I'm going to enable the feeds on my Facebook account and I'm going to create a new group called Facebook Matt. So again if you had multiple Facebook accounts you could go and include them as different buttons. What I'm also going to do this time is add it into that personal group that I created a moment ago. Hit apply choose OK and there's the magic. So we've now got a Facebook icon which means I can post to Facebook. I've got a Twitter icon which means I can post to Twitter and you'll notice that where there was an extra Twitter icon under personal before it's now changed into a group icon because when I look under groups my personal group contains two different account types Facebook and Twitter. Now what this means for me is that just by clicking on the personal group I can enable and disable posting 
to both my Facebook and Twitter accounts. Again, if I want to disable that bleed yellow group, I can individually disable Facebook, I can individually disable Twitter, or alternatively, if I want to create a status update across all of my groups, all I have to do is click the tick on the right hand side of the screen. So here we go, I'm working on wildfire. When I hit post now, you'll actually see that that's going to post through to every account type that I've got available. So I've posted to Bleed Yellow, I've posted to Facebook, I've posted to same time, I've posted to Facebook, I've posted to Twitter, all in exactly the same time. So that's great. By the way, if you accidentally start posting, right next to the post button is a cancel button. So we can just go ahead and click on cancel and that'll stop our status update. Again, if go back over to feeds um, and the feeds will show us the timeline from all of those accounts that I've got enabled. So let's go and have a look at some of my feed options. Back into preferences, here we go, refresh, uh, feed refresh rate. I'm going to change this down to two minutes to make it a bit faster. Using feed background colours, we've set some default colours for the different feeds, so you'll see things like Twitter in light blue, Facebook in white, uh, you'll see connections come through in yellow, you'll see social text come through in grey, uh, LinkedIn comes in in a slightly darker blue. So again, if I wanted to create a LinkedIn account, again, new account, choose LinkedIn, you can see that from the list all the different account types that we can actually create in Wildfire. So if I chose LinkedIn, again it's just a matter of getting a pin from LinkedIn. Um, let's go through and make sure that we're feed enabled on connections and feed enabled on Facebook and feed enabled on Twitter. So that's great. You'll also see in here that there's the ability to cache your Wildfire feeds. Now coming very shortly there's an update for your feeds cache but for the moment what this will do is store your information in a standard Lotus Notes template inside your Lotus Notes client so you can come back and review any updates whenever you want. And a nice little warning, let's prompt if we're posting to all of our networks. So let's get on and choose some of those options, choose OK. Now if you want to get rid of wildfire out of your sidebar it's pretty easy. Just right hand click on it and choose hide panel wildfire and that's going to get rid of that. Remember to bring back a panel into your Lotus Notes sidebar all we have to do is go back to the view menu, choose right sidebar panels and then turn wildfire back on. Now that's going to go off, get hold of my feeds off the internet Let's see, there we go. So now I'm getting some feeds. So you can see in here I've got a couple of feeds from Twitter. I've got a connections feed in there. I've got a Facebook feed in there as well. These are the status updates that I posted myself a moment ago. So Matt Newman is working on wildfire in connections, Facebook and Twitter. And I did that purely by choosing the groups at the top of the screen that I wanted to go and post to. A couple of the other features that you've got in here available, um, there's Lotus Rockstar, Rob Novak, I'd like to go and reply to Rob Novak, you'll notice in here that there are links inside the timeline for Twitter that allow me to reply or retweet any of the tweets that are appearing in my timeline. So I click reply, it automatically puts Rob Novak's uh, Twitter handle up inside the status, so all I've got to do is type a message to Rob. Um, there is another option in here that you've got, rather than just replying, if you put the letters TW and then a colon in front of a username, that's actually going to send Rob a direct message. So Twitter colon, TW colon, instead of at handle, sends a direct message inside Wildfire. You'll see as this goes through and updates, not only does Wildfire get hold of the timeline, it also gets hold of any of your Twitter direct messages and mentions. So I'm looking down here for a little bit of change colour. No, nothing there yet, so we're just waiting for an update. So I'll just refresh that feed. It'll take a second or two. Let's cancel that update from Rob. Um, so inside Twitter, we get hold of your timeline, we get hold of your 
direct messages that you've sent and received. We also get hold of any mentions. So if someone's actually mentioned your name, then those mentions will appear in here as well. So there's a mention from Alan Lepofsky earlier this afternoon to say uh, he'll be at the Aussie party at Lotus Fair 2011. And of course, I could also go and reply to Alan, click reply. Um, I could also go and retweet. So if I click retweet, it's actually going to pop up and ask me whether or not I'm sure I want to retweet that Twitter status. So the great thing about Wildfire, you can get hold of all of your social statuses from Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Plurk, Ping FM, etc. Um, LinkedIn. You can also get your statuses from Lotus Connections and you can also post your status updates into Lotus Same Time. And it all happens inside your Lotus Notes client. So there's nothing like sitting down inside Lotus Notes, reading your email, opening up one of your databases, and as your live stream flows by in your Wildfire plugin, you're up to date with everything that's happening. Folks, that's your introduction to Wildfire. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please be aware that on the wildfire.openntf.org website, there is actually a discussion forum in here. So if you have any questions, if you have any problems, any issues, you can post a discussion into the Wildfire Discussion Forum. We're always looking for new features and suggestions. We want to improve Wildfire and make it your plugin of choice for